Alright, I'm going to get a little bit of this out of the way, so we have some operating room here. Move this stuff over here. And we'll start with these since they're out of the package. I'll just turn these, that'll give me some more room. Okay. Get back to my regular zoom. Alright, here is the first one. This is a lot of the Jordan like accomplishment cards. I don't know exactly what they're called, but um Milestones or time frame MJ time frame, I think is what they're called. Anyway, there's like a ton of cards in this set. This is card number 102. There's 115. So I just I've sold a bunch of these. I got a little lot of them, like six or ten of them, something like that, a while ago, and they've kind of gotten plucked out. And I got these for a pretty good price, they were all top loaded. Which, of course, I always enjoy because I can reuse the supplies. And they came in this giant box. That's why I didn't have them in the package up here. But, and as with all my mail videos, this is all the packaging that the cards came in. They've all been opened and inspected just to make sure I got what I was paying for. So, anyway, that's a lot of those MJ time frame cards. Pretty cool. I think the rookie year ones do the best. So it's probably like the lower numbered cards, but anyway, we'll see how they do. Like I said, they didn't cost very much, so it's the perfect way to experiment. Alright, in this box, let's do this one so we can get this big box out of here. Have a lot of recycling this week, I guess. Alright, this one here, I think this is some vintage stuff. If I remember correctly. Oh. Yep, this is a box of vintage. If you watch my channel, you're well aware of how I feel about vintage and how much I'm getting into it. Now, these are better named players and cards. But they're not in great shape. So I figured I'd take a stab at it. Like lower price again. Just see if I can get any of these to move in um, lesser quality, I guess, if you will. Anyway, here's a Dan Grimm. <clears throat> Derek Thomas score rookie. William Perry, 86 tops. I just sold that Tops Chrome Refractor. Uh, Modern 86 tops looking tops chrome refractor. A Boomer Esiason. I think that's a rookie card for him. I'll have to double check. Dwight Clark. Clay Matthews. James Lofton rookie. Steve Largent. Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw. Vince Papel. Franco Harris. These are cool. These are from... Tops, 76 tops, but they were, oh, that's it, uh, Town Talk Bread, All-Star Series. So, cool card of Franco there, Cliff Branch, Art Shell, Norm Van Brocklin, oops, so you're probably going to recognize a lot more of these names than I normally have with my vintage lots, Ken Houston, Chris Hanberger, Fred Bolitnikoff. Uh, Jerry Hillebrand, Larry Grantham, Ken Willard. I think I just sold a Ken Willard card today, too. Jim Dunaway, Gene Hickerson, Gene Hickerson, and George Sauer. So, you know, we'll see how they do. Not in great shape, most of those. Some have creases. There's no writing or anything on them, at least. No cut corners. Nothing like that, but... Um, I, I do so well with vintage. I'm trying to look at some different angles on vintage I can get into. So, all right, let's put this back in this little box here for now. Set that aside. 
All right, I think I know what this one is, and I might save this one for later. So I'm just going to take a peek at it here, make sure I'm correct. Like I said, some of these I got, you know, I do this over a week, so I kind of forget what's in what over a week's time. Yep, yeah, that one we're going to, that one we'll wait till later. That's my big soccer rookie that I purchased. All right, let's do this one. This appears to be another lot. And let's get that out of the way. Okay, some more vintage. This one, I think, has some better names as well. Uh, and these all came in these nice card savers, so I will use those for shipping as well. But here's a bunch of 50, is this 58, 52? Gotta think about this. 55. I think this is 55 tops. All right, anyway, you got Ken McAfee, Tom Scott, Charlie Connerly. I just sold a 58 car to him. M1 to now, Frankus Kilroy, Eddie Price, Bill Johnson, Kenny Norton. These are actually in, a lot of these are in pretty good shape. This one almost looks gradable. It's well centered, corners aren't bad. Let's see what the back looks like. Back looks pretty good. Yeah, crazy. Um, we got a quarterback here, Adrian Burke. Ray Collins, Ray Witecha. That one looks pretty gradable too. A little softer on the corners than the other one, but Dick Bilski. Bill Austin, Ray Cruz, and Chuck Bednarik. People know who Chuck Bednarik is, so that's pretty cool. And again, one in really pretty good shape. Corners aren't bad. It's it's got a little bit of like roughness on the edge up there, which is kind of interesting. Chuck Bednarik. So I don't know some pretty good ones there. And then these two, I don't know if I bought all these together or not, or in two separate lots, and I stuck them in that envelope. And you'll see on the screen there when I show you purchases. Sonny Jorgensen, or Jorgensen, that's a pretty good one. Merlin Olson, a couple of Mer Merlin Olson there. Bio El Zato, I sold one of these recently. Again, some better names. And some of these, here's a John Haddle. Quarterback for the Chargers, Johnny Morris, and Mike Mercer, a kicker. And I think this is 64. Yeah, he was in the AFL too. His rookie year was 63. So that might have, actually, that's a 65, I think, as well. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm, you're learning along with me, I guess on these because I don't know them all, but pretty cool. So those will get listed. I love having vintage in my inventory. It's so fun to say I have 1958 cards. All right, this lot here, and this is some more vintage. Okay. Seeing a theme here. Uh, yep, this is some more vintage. Let's see what these are. So I hope you're I hope you're enjoying the vintage. Leave me a comment on what you think of vintage cards. I had a couple of mail day videos ago. I had a pretty good sized vintage lot, and I decided to just not show them on camera, thinking it was going to be boring. And I got a bunch of comments saying, "Show us the vintage." So that's why I'm going through every card now. Uh, Volney, Quinlan. I think this is one of my favorite sets of all times. The cards are a little taller, but I love the little white shadow behind the player, the action shot. They're just awesome. Sully Tooth, or Toth. Jerry Helluin, the Packers, that old Packer logo there. Bob Boyd. Here's a nice, here's a quarterback, Bob Clatterbuck. Bill Houghton, Bobby Dillon, who was one of my favorite old school Packers when I was a kid, Royce Womble, Jim Ricca, Jim Ricca, 
uh, Fran Rogel, George Telefero. I've sold this particular card a couple of times, now i got two more. Running back for the Colts. Bill Lykin. And then another quarterback for the Steelers, Pat Brady. <clears throat> so again, another nice variety there. Let's see what's in the other pack here. And I just bought one some more vintage auctions over the last couple days. So I'll be getting some more in. Vintage football seems to be a big sweet spot for me. Not a lot of people buying it. Um, everybody buys baseball. And I've sold quite a bit of it, so I'm going to keep it going. Billy Wilson. Dale Dodrill. John Creamcheck. You know, like, oh no, this is a halfback. John Hoffman for the Bears. Les Gobel. Klein Gilbert. I mean, if you don't like how these cards look, you're insane. These are amazing. And they keep, you know, modern sets and companies keep redoing the designs of these old cards because they're just, they're just awesome. Uh, Paul Younger. Heard that name before. Bob Hainer. This is a rookie. Harlan Hill. Tom Keene. Ray Wiketcha couple of those. Uh, John Carson. Lee Riley. Another rookie. Bert Pechachar. Or Rekachar. I don't know how you pronounce that. Max Boydston. Another rookie card. And Volney Peters. That's one of the other things I like about this year's set. Because I don't know a lot of these players. I like that it says rookie right on it. Chicago Cardinals. It's very easy when I go to list and sell these. There's no question about, well, is it a rookie or not? Kind of like modern day cards where it has the rookie logo on it. You say rookie right on the card, so pretty cool. And then got this little bonus card, which I think is kind of fun. Exclusive cards on the box bottom. I think this was cut out of the box. Yeah, saved box. Uh, four limited edition of 16 exclusive NHL star hockey cards. Printed on the bottom of this box. So, see some pretty good names there. Mario Lemieux. Uh, Wayne Gretzky, of course. Brad Hall. Uh, Pierre Turgeon. Some of these guys I don't know. Stevie Weiserman. Cam Neely. Larry Curry. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I'm going to hang on to that, too. It's a nice little bonus. And a couple of top loads, a couple of team bags. So, a little bit of supplies, too. Alright, next. I'll start working on this stack to the left here. Let's see what this one is. I think there's three of these in here. There we go. I think this is some more Jordan. I was shopping pretty heavily for Jordan stuff and vintage. And Jeter. I don't know if I have any Jeter in this, though, but Jeter stuff's been doing really well, and for whatever reason, it's easy to find at a pretty good price in bulk. So I like this slot because it had some oddball Jordan, which uh, if you learn anything from my videos, you'll learn that the weird stuff um, is something I'm after and a lot of other collectors are after, and believe it or not, it's a lot shorter printed than some of the main sets. So here's a Bulls, or a um, Jordan Team USA uh, from the GOAT set, which is pretty interesting. Well, it's got a nice, got a nice, uh, you know, picture and stuff on the front, got a nice write up on the back. Uh, this is from 2020 GOAT cards, one of 1,000 made. So not licensed, obviously, but pretty cool. And then we've got a Fleer Focus Jersey Edition in his Wizards uniform. Here's another from the GOAT set here, from his rookie year. I like it with the chains on, that's pretty sweet. And then, uh, are those, those must be rookie year Jordans. They look like Jordans, yeah, here, there they are, hanging around his neck there. 1985 Fierce Cards, which I know these weren't printed in 85, but pretty cool. 
And then this uh, Enter to Win Jordan stuff from Victory. Upper Deck Victory. Okay, and then I really like this card, the Salvation. It's in the Wizard's uniform again. I hardly have anything in his Wizard's uniform. And from what I understand, that that's kind of um, heating up a bit. People are looking for Wizard uniform Jordan stuff. Here's another... Uh, unlicensed one of him in North Carolina blue there. I really like the photography on it. It's nicely well done. And this one is from 1981 Rookie Phenoms, which, of course, this wasn't made in 81, but Gold Platinum Limited Edition. So, again, just some oddball stuff. And then an upper deck base card with the Bulls. And then the last little sleeve here is uh, Player of the Century, Jordan, from Upper Deck Century Legends. Very cool card. Another one of those off-printed ones with his Rookie Jordans, Rookie Star on it. Michael Jordan, one of a thousand. This is from that supposed 85 Fierce cards printing again. But I can even tell you from the card stock and everything, photography, that it's not. Anywhere near 1985. And then this really cool uh, Upper Deck base card. I've never had this one before. Upper Deck Silver. So this should be from 98. Yep, 1998. 97, 98, I believe, is the print here for that one. So a smaller lot, but I thought it was some pretty cool cards. It all seemed like cards I could market and get a buyer for. And they were the right price, which of course is detail number one. So I haven't shown any of this in a while, but I got three more uh, vintage non-sport wax packs, a couple of, uh, or three Back to the Future 2 packs. I had a few of these. Uh, my sister is a huge Back to the Future fan, so I gave her the ones I had, uh, or the one I had. I think I only had one. And uh, so obviously I needed needed at least one for my own collection um it's kind of hard to find a deal on these they're pretty popular but i found a pretty good price for the three of them i think i paid about three bucks a pack so i was very happy with that so something fun there to add to my display all right this one is a little lot here. Oh, this is fun. So I kind of, when I was searching Jordan stuff, I kind of stumbled upon these. I forget about them from time to time, but they did make Space Jam cards. So I sort of tripped upon this little lot here, and I liked it because it does have a couple Jordan feature cards in it, a couple other extra on things. This is fun. The monsters were my favorite part of the movie, so... It's fun to see just the monsters with the ball. The jam time card. So that's pretty cool. Here's Birdie and Hubie. So if you're a big fan of the movie like me, you'll enjoy these. Uh, Wiley Coyote. This is the halftime heartbreaks. Of course, that's got Jordan in it, and this is when they're they're losing at halftime. And the Toon Squad is down on themselves. This one I thought was really cool. Uh, I got a lenticular. So it's Sylvester and Tweety. Is that something on there? Looks weird. Oh no, that's Bugs Bunny maybe? Um, but anyway, they're called Animotions. From Upper Deck. Pretty cool. Sylvester grabs a snack. So this was an insert. I, I can't remember if you got one per pack or... All those were inserted, but nevertheless, well, it's pretty cool. Uh, this is Marvin's Flip Clips. So again, another insert, F228. It's got the Marvin the Martian hologram logo on there, pretty cool. So this is from a little Marvin insert set. Here's another one with Jordan on it. I got two of these, actually. The Join with the Ductator. 
Snake Peaks. Snake Peaks. I don't think these were promos or anything. I think they were just regular cards, but Jordan gets an earful from Daffy during a routine checkup. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, then here's the duck Doctor himself. Here's another one with Jordan on it. Jordan in the Doctor chair. Just, I don't know. These are just cool. Here's a minion. Sniffles. <laughs> so I don't know if these are going to move at all. I don't even care. Because if they don't, I don't mind keeping them. How to capture cartoon characters from the Book of Bugs. Here's another one of those uh, Marvin the Martian inserts. Flip clips with the monster team there. I thought this was pretty neat. This hologram sparkly Roadrunner sticker from 1997. I don't even know if this is from Space Jam or not, but it's pretty sweet. So I was glad that was uh, thrown in. And then again, my favorite characters in the movie, the Monstars. It's pretty cool. Very 90s with the with all the different colors and the, the logo, the way the logo is designed. So I don't know, those were pretty sweet. Didn't pay a lot for them. I figured I'd take a chance on them. And again, if they don't, if they don't go, that I'm actually fine with that. These are cool and different. Oh, this one doesn't have anything in it. Maybe that had the. Oh, that was the extra. That's right. One of the, in the big pack. One of the big packages on the ground here. It had a. For some reason, they used that as the padding for the top of the box. Okay, this is a pretty big one. This is a Gem Mint uh, Action Packed Far Rookie. I just sold one of these for 300 bucks, and I got this one for $50. So I'm going to keep doing that. I keep trying to find these PSA 10s at a lower price. I'll list them for a higher price. If they sell, I just keep that cycle moving. That's worked pretty well for me. I've sold quite a few... Uh, PSA 10 rookies as of late. If you've seen my prior videos, you've, you've seen some of that. Unfortunately, this is the old holder, so I don't know if that's going to limit how much it sells for or not. I haven't seen that happen in those cards before, but I don't know. We'll see. Even even so, let's say I, instead of 300 I get 250 for it. Well, that's still a 5x, you know, $200 profit. All right, guess what? Some more Jordan stuff. So a few more top loads for supplies there. A few team bags. I always have enough team bags, though. Um, just a good variety here. Some some mainstay stuff. Some this is what 90, 1990 hoops. You know, some earlier career stuff. Uh, final shots, Jordan and Malone on a 92. Um, I've sold a few of these in the past. This is the first home run from after he retired. Another one of those finals, finals. Um, one of those early um, uh, time frame cards. This one's number 16. So I'll have that one to add in as well. Uh, from the Jordan Tribute. Here's a North Carolina Coke one. Those are fun. Um, from Collector's Choice, the 15, 50 point scoring. So, yeah, this 50 point club out of tops, so it's a pretty cool one. The Pit Crew. The Championship Pit Crew cards are kind of interesting. These are from Racing. You can see the racing flag logo there. Upper deck ballpark. I don't know what this one is either. Five of five. So again, just some more oddball stuff. A couple of top stars. A couple of Flare Ultras. 
This one I thought was pretty cool. This, um, oh, can I get it to focus here? Come on. Rookie of the Year, six-time NBA champion, Jordan Legacy. Cool-looking card. Uh, playoff MVP from Topps Gold. Topps Gold is always good. It's another um, unlicensed random card, Air Nose 2. Tim playing golf. Just got the big Air Jordan on the back. And then another baseball. Uh, special edition collector's choice. I have a few of those. That's that pack. Oh, I got one that's turned around here. Okay, and then this pack. Alright, this pack has kind of the same thing. I mean, it's different cards, but it's sort of the same same level of stuff, if you will. So this one's got Dominique Wilkins on the front. It's got Jordan on the back for points. There's another Air Nose in baseball. This one I thought was cool. is Ted Williams uh, checklist card. I love that Ted Williams set. And it's got um, Jordan up here on it. So this has a bunch of like the star rookies from that year. So and Jordan, of course, is right there. So that one's kind of cool. Here's a 86 reprint. Clearly says reprint on the back. It's from Sports Journal. So again, some more oddball stuff. Um, this one, I've sold a few of these before. This is his from a 63-point game. It's got the signature on it uh, from the championship. Can't go wrong with those. A couple of Goodwins champions. Haven't done too well with those, but that's okay. Here's a couple more time frames, some earlier ones. Uh, 19 and 76. This is the Upper Deck McDonald's edition. See the M. So those are a little bit more rare. My favorite set, the 92 Skybox. Got the Jordan Stats Points Leader one. Uh, another final shot out of choice. Couple of these. Cool looking cards, definitely off centered, so you can't do anything with them other than keep them raw. But this is the uh, Bulls checklist cards. Um, this is a pretty popular card. This is 91, 90. Skybox is in his golf stuff on the back there. Pretty cool. Some more 92 hoops. Just the Jordan milestone card. Um, this one is 89. Oh, no, this is 91. 91 hoops in the All-Star. This is 91 hoops also, but it's just the base card. 93 Fleer. So some earlier stuff, which I like. Final shots. Here's another one of those um, 90, 90 hoops. A couple of these uh, Carl Malone, Jordan scoring leaders. Uh, a season leader out of 94 upper deck. And a league leader out of 93 Fleer. It's a nice little Jordan lot there. <clears throat> Those earlier base cards do pretty well. I sell them pretty much as soon as I list them. So I'll keep buying them if I can get them for the right price. Okay. Overflowing with team bags there. All right, so along the, uh, the lines of that action-packed one, I found this score pretty cheap. I try to get these around 150. Um, you'll see on the screen there what I paid. I don't remember. I think it was a little bit more than 150, but um, I've sold a few of these in recent times. It does have the modern holder. So I got this from Comsey. Needless to say, that's why it's got the barcode 
logo on the back there. But since I sold one recently, I buy another one at a deal and I relist it. So yeah, hopefully that train keeps moving. This one, I don't have the uh, package for it. I, I can't remember what, if I just took it out and tossed it or what, but oh, there's actually two cards in here. I didn't realize that. This is the um, 21 Select, and it's the green and yellow parallel, which I think was Blaster exclusive or Hanger exclusive. I don't know. One of the retail product exclusives, you got one per pack, I think, or a couple per pack. But I liked it because it was the team colors. So to pick one of those up, it looks like they threw in a Rogers base card as well, which is cool. I'll get a couple bucks for that, so that's a nice, nice little bonus. All right, and then in this box here, pretty sure this is vintage, but let's see. This might be, yeah, this is vintage. I think it's... Let's see what these are. I can't remember what year these are. Oh yeah, some more of this stuff. Um, so I think this is mostly Philadelphia stuff. Surprisingly, I when I get lots of these, I get some pretty valuable cards in them a lot of the time. So I've been been sort of looking for these as much as I can. So here's a Tom Moore, Bobby Mitchell, Wayne Rasmussen. I'm not going to spend too much time on them. They're, this is a pretty big box. Elks Hawkins. Um, I think this is Tops though. Yeah. Frank Clark, Glenn Haas, Money Lyles. And there's a Charlie Johnson, quarterback for the Cardinals. Quarterback's always good. Tommy Mason, Odie Burrell, Gary Wood. Uh, here's another quarterback, Ron Vander Kellen, Bernie Casey. Dick Westmoreland, here's another Charlie Johnson quarterback. Folded in half at one point, though. Tate Floyd, Bill Brown. Here's another quarterback, Earl Morale. So it's kind of cool. Play of the year, Lions versus Bears in 63, so this must be 64. Bobby Conrad, Cheryl Hedrick, Marlon McKeever. Tony Warwick, ooh, Charlie Taylor, I've sold a few of those. He's, I think, a Hall of Famer. Bobby Joe Green, Steve Thurlow, Aaron Thomas, Lions team cards, pretty cool. Bill Butler is a halfback. There's another quarterback, Ron Morrell. Who Michaels, Charlie Gogolak, Cornell Green, Jim Shorter, Johnny Morris, Bobby Mitchell, Miller Farr, Sam Baker. Gary Garrison, Joe Morrison, Bobby Joe Conrad, the Saints team logo card, Cornell Green, Tucker Fredrickson, Kermit Alexander. I think I've sold a few of his before. Cardinals team card. Uh, let's see who is on this. Uh, Lenny Moore, I guess. That's a pretty cool little action running shot there. Max. Vaughn, uh, Bobby Mitchell, Lee Fulkins. So don't, you know, I don't really know if any of these are big or not. I generally, when I list them, I have <clears throat> eBay up on my computer and I list with my phone. So I just kind of put the year into uh, eBay and then do a quick search on each one and see what see what I got. Dick Shafrith. Uh, Willie Davis, that's a pretty good one. With this Cowboys team card, that's awesome. Cowboy riding the horse there. Ram set, here's another one of those action ones. Uh, looks like this is Ernie Wheelwright. Tim Brown, Dick Bass. Paul Flatley, a Colts team card. Roger Brown, John Hilton, Homer Jones, Floyd Little, Gary Garrison, another Saints team card. Nick Petrasante, I think it's Pete Retzloff, um, Bob Skaronsky, Roy Shivers, Riley Gunnels, Earl Gross, 
Uh, Elsie Greenwood, that's a pretty good one. He's in the Hall of Fame, I believe. Sam Baker, Tom Watkins, Brady Keys, Leroy Caffey, Jerry Stovall, Joe Morrison, Brig Owens, Clarence Peaks, Play of the Year, Rams and Packers, Dave Williams, Tom Moore, Brandon Casey, Leroy Mitchell, Walt Suggs, Johnny Rowan, Sam Silas, Henry Jordan, he's in the Hall of Fame, Herb Adderley, he's in the Hall of Fame. I know the Packer ones the most, of course. Johnny Rowan, Ordell Brass, Bob Boyd, Wendell Harris, Tony Alicio, John Pallock, Charlie Gobelak, A.D. Whitfield. This one, this is Leroy Kelly. It's the running back there, Bob Boyd. Jeffrey Logan, it's a Redskins team. Kermit Alexander, Roy Shivers, Frank Verschon, Robert Logan. This is a pretty big lot, I'd say 200 cards ish. I'm guessing, I think that's a 250 card box, but it, these usually take up a little bit more than a modern card because they're, they get fluffy corners and stuff, but. Bob Boyd, Bill Triplett, Tom Nowatsky, Philadelphia team, Brooke Rose, Ross Frickner, Jerry Richardson, Homer Jones, Clarence Childs, Gail Cogdill, Dick Bass, Bob Vogel, Bob Boyd, uh, kicker, Danny Villanueva, kicker for the Cowboys. Bobby Mitchell, the Sweet Rams logo card. Ernie Green, Earl Gross, Dick Gordon, Bill Asbury. Uh, another Philadelphia team card. <clears throat> Ronnie Bull. Tom Kennedy, so another quarterback here. Uh, uh, there might have been a few more that I skipped over. Randy Johnson, that's another quarterback. Merlin McKeever, Billy Martin, Mint. Milt Sundi, Sunday, Alex Hawkins, Ron Smith, Marion Rushing, Charlie Bradshaw, Riley Matson, Gary Wood, John Hilton, Francis Pay, Aaron Thomas. These are definitely some names I haven't seen in previous lots of these. 67 Philadelphias I bought over at Logan. There's another quarterback, Milt Plum, Tom Kennedy, another quarterback. Jimmy Orr, Dennis Claridge, and another quarterback. He played for the Packers and then went to the Falcons, I guess. Uh, Frank Lasky, there's another quarterback, Charlie Johnson. Another um, Saints logo, Jerry Stovall. There's another Gary Wood, that's quarterback. Aaron Martin, L.A. Raider, or Rams team, Willie Brown. Berlin Beggs. And last but not least, our final stack here. Uh, another quarterback, Tom Kennedy, Matt Snell, Dick Bass, Bill Brown, Houston Antoine, Junior Coffey, Doug Atkins, Derek McCord, Bill Stacy, Jim Snowden, Les Josephson, Dan Grimm, Ernie Green, running back. Saw him in that play card earlier. Carl Kammerer. It's a cool name. Mike Mercer, Jerry Simmons, Bobby Mitchell, Edie Whitfield, a sweet Cardinals team card. Jim Skaggs. Let's see, what is this one? I think this is the one we saw before. Yet plenty more. Uh, Riley, Gun Riley Gunnels, Tommy Davis, Max Bond, Purvis Adkins, Ricky Harris, Sam Silas, Sweet Colts team card, Lenny Lyles, Tony Lark, Lions team card, Paul Flatley, Tony Lark, 
Uh, Dave Manders, Gordon Smith, who's another quarterback, Charlie Johnson, Joe Morrison, Pat Studstill, Gary Stovall, Nick Pietro Sante, saw him earlier, Mike Clark, can't forget that name, Tom Watkins, who's a Giants team card, Ray Poidge, Poidge, Dr. Fredrickson, he's a Cardinals Player of the Year versus the Redskins. Here's a couple more quarterbacks, Earl Morrell. Pat Studstill, Bobby Joe Conrad. Here's another quarterback, Charlie Johnson. Lots of Charlie Johnson in here, too. Bill Asbury, Tommy McDonald, a couple of those. Uh, Jim Steffen, Bill Nelson, another quarterback for the Steelers. <clears throat> Lou Michaels, James Steiger, Pat Fisher, Bill Munson, quarterback for the Rams, Bruce Gossett, Gary Ballman, Walter Rock, Tony Lark, uh, another quarterback for the Bears, Rudy Bukic, Roger Leclerc, another um, Saints team card, Dick Bass, A.D. Whitfield, and Rip Hawkins. So, definitely some duplicates and stuff in there, but I think, again, um, vintage just keeps keeps going for me. So a few each day. So you keep trying to trying to build on that. I got quite a bit now, so maybe I'll be holding off on vintage for a few weeks. We'll see. All right, and then last, certainly not least, my bigger PC purchase. This is a, a rookie soccer card. And this guy has been lighting up soccer in the last few years. I had the pleasure of getting to see him score his first Manchester City goal when he played at Lambeau. And getting to see him play live is quite an experience. He's unlike any other player. And I think he's going to set this single-season goal record this year, which would be ginormous. Think of it like the uh, like Judge setting the home run record. Probably even a little bigger than that, because that's it for marks in a soccer game is goals. So... Versus, you know, there's lots of different ways to score runs in baseball. But anyway, it's this Topps Crystal. It's always been one of my favorite sets. Slightly underrated. Uh, it's a true rookie card. He's in his Red Bulls uniform. Um, it's an acetate card, so you can see through it there. It's got this really nice foil finish to it. Nice texture. Sharp looking picture. Um, the other thing I like is it's got his full name on it, Erling Brot, Holland. And a nice crystal logo up there. And of course the back, since you can see through it, it just has some stats on the player. I think these were made in Italy. Um, and actually, I think they originally just sold in Italy too. I don't think you could buy packs of these in the U.S. This is FC. This was when... True rookie, like I said, FC Spaldig. I can't. I can't remember what the name of the team is. I'm trying to get it to focus. Oh, can't even Salzburg. Um. But yeah, I, I think it's cool. I like the the background. This is like the ball here with the stars on it. It's just just super cool. So I was I was really excited to get that, and I I found it for a pretty good price compared to. What they've been selling for, and I think they're only gonna go up from there. I think they're gonna go up quite a bit from there. So super excited. I might just hang on. This, this is right now is my only Erling Holland rookie, so I might just hang on to this. Maybe um, trade up down the line. I'd obviously love to get an auto, but his stuff is so expensive now. All right, so that is it. That is my mail week. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.